Watch this. This is how you work yourself into a deal. Hello. Happy what? Dairy Queen. How are you? I, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm so happy to hear from you. You getting a lot of business from us or what? I am, and I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> That's good. That's our job. Our job is yeah. to... Our job is to send you deals. Your job is to give us money. I love it. Absolutely. And that's what I'm here for. Good, good. So good to hear from you. Thank you for everything you do for our community. I appreciate it. And thank you. Thank you. You just don't know how much you've been such an inspiration to me to keep going. Really. I am so grateful for you, Pace. You and your, your beautiful family. Thank you. I, I appreciate you that. Dearly. I really thank you. love you guys dearly. We, lo we love doing business with you. You're awesome. I appreciate you. Thank you. I've got um, two questions for you. Sure. Question number one, I'd love to do a Zoom with you and the Gator community so that people can send you more loans to fulfill. Can, can I send you a couple of times via text and get you to come in to do a Zoom so we can get more Gator sending you more business? Absolutely. Cool. Absolutely. Secondly, um, I've got a loan that's interesting. Um, it's a five unit. Do you do five unit um, dwellings? Yes. Okay. I've got a loan. If I send this loan to you, how can I get compensated on sending a loan to you from one of my buyers? Can I be compensated on that? Yes, because I'll do that. I'll take care of that. That'll be an agreement between me and you. Okay, cool. So I want to send you, and I want to send you like thousands of loans this year. You and I can work out an agreement. I'm going to put you and that, that borrower together. Now, here's another question. If I send a borrower to you and they come back to you and they keep continue to do refinances and other loans and all that kind of stuff, can, is there a way to put them in the system that every time they do business with you, even if I'm not involved in future re refinances or purchases, that I can get paid a fee for a referral? Absolutely, and that's what I'm doing. I'm doing commission and referral fees, so that would help out tremendously and I can put you in a database. So everyone that comes to you, we can put you down as affiliated. Okay, love that. All right, cool. I'm going to put you in touch with a buyer on a little five unit deal. Um, he also, he has a three unit, a four unit and a five unit. He's buying simultaneously. He says he has a lender for the three unit and the four unit, but he said he's willing to give us the three unit and the four unit business as well if we can help him out with the five unit. Okay. The lenders he's spoken to said that they don't do any five unit stuff, obviously because it kind of goes into like the multifamily type of space. And I know sure. you'll, you'll go find the right loan program for him. Yes, absolutely. Um, absolutely. He's going to need private money, so I'll help him fi find private money. You just help him find the purchase money, and I'll go find the private okay. money for him. Okay, sounds good. Send him this way. Amazing. I appreciate you so much. I'll, I'll put you, okay. I'll put you and him, him in an email, okay? Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, so this is super interesting how this is structured. There's so much nuance in a three-minute phone call. I could unpackage this for hours, okay? Now, what, what Eric has been focusing on, okay, Eric holding the camera, what Eric has been focusing on in his Gator business is what strategy, Eric? EMD, Gator 1. Okay, Gator 1. Gator 1.0, um, those transactions are very, very common. They happen every single day. 9,000 transactions every single month in just our market need EMD. So this is very common, okay? However, I don't like focusing on EMD loans. I like focusing on Gator 2 and Gator 3. So Gator 2 is when somebody's buying a building, they typically need to get a lender in first lien position. And so you see this buyer over here on this transaction is sitting over here going, okay, I, I can go find an easy layup lender. I can just go online and find a lender. However, when they find that first hiccup, that first hurdle, that first barricade of, well, I've got the third building, which is a five unit technically, um, this I can't find a lender to, the, to do this. But it's a package deal, so they can't get the deal done. So I'm gonna come to the table and I'm gonna find the lender that will do all three of these for him, and I will tell the buyer, that's my company. Okay, this is what we call white labeling. So I'll introduce the buyer with my lender who I just talked to you with, and Tanya is her name. She's somebody who helps a lot of Gators do white label loans. So I'm gonna make 5,000 bucks on referring these deals to her, and I don't have to be the one bringing the money to the table. I brought the relationship to the table. Now what's better is every time now this buyer does a refinance or another purchase or anything else, I now am tagged in Tanya's database so that I get paid every single time this buyer goes out and gets more loans. And even if this buyer then refers another person to, the, to, to Tanya, I also get paid on those transactions. And so 
Gator 2.0 has the ability to do com is like compound relationships, okay? So this is honestly, if I was a Gator, I would spend 90% of my time on Gator 2.0 and probably 1% of my time on EMD. And I would spend a lot more of my time on Gator 3.0, which is also PML. Okay, because PML now is also going to be needed because Tanya, she'll fund the three unit, I'll get paid. She'll fund the four unit, I'll get paid. She'll fund the five unit, I'll get paid. And then this borrower also needs $80,000 of private money for the renovation. Tanya, who's a lender only wanting to be in first lien position, is basically saying, I don't do private money, that's not my thing. That's why she's Gator 2.0. She's doing the, the purchase price money. I've got to now focus on Gator 3 and Gator 2. I am going to then go do what we call Gator wrestling, okay? Because I don't, let's pretend I don't have the money. I'm going to go into the Gator community and say, hey, who has $80,000 for this renovation? I want to bring us all together, form a partnership, and I want to get paid on bringing these lenders to the table. And I structure a deal where I can make 10,000 bucks between these two referrals I made $10,000 on somebody else's wholesale deal, on somebody else's renovation, on somebody else's loan, on somebody else's private money. I wedged myself in the middle of all of this to make $10,000. It's pretty epic. And what I see a lot of Gators do incorrectly is they just go focus on EMD and like, you know, short-term stuff. Why? Eric, why do you think that's the case? You won't guess, but I wanna know why you think that's the case. Um, it's seems the easiest? It seems the easiest, but that's not the answer that I'm looking for. The answer I'm looking for is because when they watch the webinar on Saturday, because the webinar has to be so short, I only had time to talk about Gator 1. And so in everybody's mind in the Gator world, Gator 1 is Gator. Guys, if you have a full-fledged Gator business and you're blowing up, here's what it should be. This is how it should be allocated, okay? Gator 1.0 is definitely kind of low hanging fruit. But Gator goes all the way down to Gator 6 and Gator 7 even, okay? There's other strategies we haven't even taught on. So I'm not even gonna talk about Gator 5, 6, and 7. We have not taught on those yet. If I'm a full-fledged Gator business, I'd probably say, I know I said earlier 90%, but let's, let me tell you what the real truth is. I would say that I would spend 10% of my time on Gator 1. I'd probably spend 50% of my time on Gator 2. I'd spend 20% of my time on Gator 3 and 20% of my time on Gator 4. Um, that's the allocation. Gator 2 is way more, way more lucrative because it's compound relationships that go on and on and on. This buyer who's buying a three unit, a four unit, and a five unit, every single year that buyer is gonna buy more deals. Guess what? I just built in a pipeline of that buyer going and getting loans from Tanya and I get paid on every single one of them. I've got now residual income. I just built an annuity for myself, okay? Like, think about this. This is bonkers. If I go out and I go get a sub two deal and I put in my portfolio, I turn into a regular rental, my average first year income on that first year rental is gonna be like $5,000 net to me. I'll make 5,000 bucks. It's a year's worth of work owning a property. Yeah, there's all sorts of benefits on it as well. I, I get that. But the reality is I did one loan. I'm gonna do one loan with this buyer that's not even my money, right? And I'm going to bring that money to the table. I'll get paid 10 grand, which is twice as much money as a rental will pay me in a year, twice as much money. And more importantly, what if that buyer just does that once a year? They go out and buy another, you know, 10 units every single year, that's it. You know, they do fix and flip loans. They do these other things. Every time that buyer goes and does a loan, I get paid every single time. I get paid every single time in perpetuity. I will get paid in perpetuity. So for me as a business owner, I wanna focus on Gator 2.0, Alpha Gator. I wanna have an alpha uh, platform way faster than I wanna do anything else, okay? Why don't I talk about this as much is because when people are just getting started, the EMD thing makes sense to them. But you should be spending less of your time on EMD loans. You should be spending way more time on Gator 2.0, um, Gator 3.0 and Gator 4.0. So um, what we'll do is we'll do a follow-up video. If you are a Gator, I'm actually gonna bring Tanya into the Gator community. We'll do a whole Zoom where you guys can go do business with her. She's one of these lenders that finds out really, really gangster loan programs to solve problems where other lenders just can't. She's amazing. And she's obviously doing a lot of business with us. So um, if you're in Gator, go and check out that Zoom. 
If you're not in Gator, what we'll do is we'll do a follow-up to this YouTube video where I'll actually show you how the heck we structured this whole thing after it's all said and done.